Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here. Thanks for watching my videos. And it's Thursday, February the 25th of 2016. And I went to Walgreens today. I was out and about and drove by two of them. And I had seen that the uh, Valentine's clearance items were 90% off. And so I thought, well, I'll stop in and see. I went to two different stores actually. Um, and I didn't get any Valentine's clearance stuff. I did buy this spatula. It was on clearance for like a buck uh, fifty, and then this bowl and strainer thing was like two fifty. Anyways, I just got that at the one store, um, and and it's not like there's these other things that are like decorative things that were part of the Valentine's clearance that are ninety percent off. So you might look all around for some clearance stuff. Like they were like some picture frames, some votive candle holders. Um, uh, these little decorative teapots and some little um, things that organize your desk drawer. So these little boxes, um, like leather boxes, and um, just uh, there was a variety of things. The two different stores had different stuff. So, anyways, you might look around and, and maybe there's something there. I didn't want any of that stuff, so I didn't get any of that. But of course, while I'm there, I always look around for clearance because sometimes you know, you just never know what you're going to find on clearance, right? So I found these at one store had these on clearance. The other one did not. So, and that's the way Walgreens works. I mean, they have, you know, from one, one store, I went, you know, five miles away to the other store and, and they weren't on clearance. Um, so anyways, these were um, 39 cents and they were there on the regular shelf with the orange tag for 39 cents. Now we have these dollar off of one coupons, and this is just a little lesson in how Walgreens cash registers ring register things. Okay, how they see it, it totals all of this up into one purchase. They had eight of them on the shelf, and eight of them happened to be three dollars and twelve cents, and it totaled that. So the cash register goes, "Oh, you're buying three dollars and twelve cents of Purell, right? It'll take three dollars in coupons." Okay. So I wasn't going to try and use eight coupons, okay, and try to get some overage because the cash register wasn't going to allow that. I knew that. But what it would allow is three of these dollar off of one coupons, okay? Um, I'm not sure what insert that came out of. You can look that up. But um, so they all, they all scanned in just fine, and that left it at 12 cents and then 22 cents in tax. So I paid 34 cents for these eight. Now, if the lady had said, oh, we can't take the coupon, you know, then that had been fine, but the cash register rang it and she didn't have no problem. She just wanted to know if I was stocking up for cold and flu season. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, yeah, so maybe you can find those. Maybe not. All right, talk to you guys later.